already, guys. Primary. Hello, Terry. How are you? You guys will remember from uh, Munich. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's when I first really discovered your brand. So, come to see what you got in. Is it this room here? Yeah, yeah. Head on in. All right. I'll get up with you. I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna go over here. But it's okay. Some songs with some good. It, it does okay. Feel free to jump on it. I, okay. I'm certainly not disappointed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So, so yeah. I mean, I didn't feel as though it was lit lacking bass. No, I, I'm a bass head. There's all good for you. So this is a two yeah. point. Which one? It's, it's a two point four. That's two point four. The model number is a two point five. Two point five. And this is the U.S. debut. Okay. Um, never been played in the United States before. It really? North America. North America. But it was at um, it was at Munich. It was at Munich. Yeah, I've seen it. Remember that? I have a question for you. Uh -huh. These are the folks from High Fi Chicken. Yeah, High Fi Chicken. Players. I don't know if you've ever met them. I have not. Would you like to trade, and I'll tell them about the system, and then we can right. come back yeah. to him? Great, because this is Terry from Primer. Mm -hmm. He came all the way from Sweden. I'd love to make sure you get some really good mention in your great publication. So yeah, 23.5 a pair, North American debut. Yes. <clears throat> uh, we're using the VPI uh, Avenger Direct. Gotcha, yeah. With the Fat Boy Tone Arm and the VPI Shyla Moving Coil Cartridge. Okay. Primary Electronics. Yeah, I love the Primary stuff. The phenomenal, particularly the Pre-35 Prisma. And this is the one with the DAC, so you can get a P35 or the Prisma. Prisma includes a DAC. Okay. That is 5250 US retail. Okay. Amplification is the primer A35.2 amplifiers. Yep. We're using two of them. Not like we need to, because these speakers are very efficient, but it looked good. Yep. These are 3900 US each. Really? This primer R35 phono preamplifier is $2,000. Wow. We're using a 432 Evo server. Okay. Uh, that is configurable. You can enter into the 432 Evo world at $3,500 and go all the way up to $18,000, but you can go in increments in between. Okay, okay. trickle down. All wired with anti cables. Yes, I saw that. Which okay. is a wonderful uh, uh, cable company as well. Nice. Yeah, I'm a big fan of. And I think Terry said I'll be checking out their newest surround sound processor soon. Fantastic. Direct. But yeah, this. So, so this is me. I'm actually the uh, importer in North America okay, for cool. all of these brands here. All right. Stenheim, Alta Audio. Oh, yeah, I'm a Prime big fan Air. of Alta and Infigo as well. So you've yeah. got some good stuff. Yes. Yeah, Hans and like a yes, good yes. friends of mine. Yes, yes. Yes, I'll give you my card as well. Thank you, sir. And then, uh, yeah, maybe we'll listen. I like your vest. Thank you. <laughs> I made it myself. Yeah. <laughs> my own systems are wired. Yeah. So, I'm in the Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah. Very Thank you. Paul Spells from Anti Cables is here. Would you like to have a word? Sure. Let me just talk to Paul. Hello. How you doing? Good to meet you. I probably met you before I even had a channel because I used to just come to shows for 20 plus years. Yeah, and so uh, I have your um, your auto former. Oh my gosh, that's zero the form. That yes. started me off. Is that right? Okay. And the auto form itself was excellent. Mm -hmm. It's the lead out wires that was the bottom line. Uh, yeah. And once they developed good Sony lead out wires, they turned into the speaker cables. That's what that you use. Yeah. The anti cables, and that was so popular they became the name of the company. So I didn't know though that the auto formers were first. So the auto formers first, were yeah. first. Yeah. Those are still valuable for people that have speakers or OTL I am and back order two pairs right now. I gotta yeah. put them together when I get back to the I'm, office. Uh, yeah, I've got mine. I don't need them right now, but they're always handy if I need to match, mix and match speakers. Even in surround sound, when sometimes your surrounds have different uh, leveling issues. But yeah, certain amps, even solid state amps, benefit from sometimes that. Yeah. So, um, anything new on the cable front that you've been doing? Yeah. Uh, the speaker wires that are in here are level 4.2 flex. Okay. Uh, it's, instead of using 12-gauge uh, wires, it uses a smaller 17-gauge wire, but I build up, there's nine of them on, on each connection. Okay. So there's even more copper there. The copper's better sounding because it's a smaller gauge, and it's more flexible because it's smaller-gauge wire. Okay, that's cool. But yet it's not a 
stranded wire, it's still solid core wire. They're all individually uh, insulated from each other, so there's no current jumping, which causes that sizzly sound in the highs. Yeah, okay. And I've got level five and level six above these, but I've been using the level 4.2 flex at every trade show room, uh, really? at every trade show uh, for the past two or three years that they've been out. Wow. So I really, okay. really like them there. Um, yeah, let's look at your price sheet over here because you you offer a reasonable. It's not like ridiculous. Yeah. So what's showing in this room? The lights kind of bad. Here. So what's showing in this room is the level four dot two flex speaker wires, uh -huh. which are just a few hundred dollars. I think yep. we've got a seven foot pair in here. And we've got level three power cords. They start at only three hundred and thirty dollars each. The whole system's running on those. Uh, no jumpers. Uh, I've got level 7.3 uh, uh, interconnects, which are um, around $700 at the one meter length. Uh -huh. We are using uh, XLR level 5.3 balanced, and I think there's a USB cable in here. I've, I've got multiple rooms, so I get a little fuzzy once in a while. Yeah, and this is what I have. And, uh, and naked pair. Yeah, so many yeah. speakers have low impedance, and even what they say is their average is not really what is, uh, you know, it's misleading. Right. Right. So sometimes multiplying okay. the impedance, all of a sudden your amp now can drive it much better. I think these 8 ohm uh, uh, Sinem speakers actually possibly dip to 3. So at certain that's parts, exactly yeah, right. exactly. So yeah, this will multiply the impedance of your speakers, give it easier load. So yeah. All right, we're going to listen to a little tunes. Okay, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yes, I like the. Have you heard the primary stuff before? Yeah, once a while ago. Okay. How are you doing? So, okay. so, so the primary equipment surprised me in a good way. Um, I, I worked for companies like Mark Levinson and Krell and Meridian, you know, in my 47 year career in the audio business. And um, I went over to uh, Sweden in, in January, uh, early this year, and I was like, uh, wow, I got into the, the demo room and I, it, was, it exceeded my expectations. It truly, truly did. All right, I'm going to stop talking and play some music. You're supposed to applaud it though. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Well, it depends on what music you're playing. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know... Mm -hmm. All aluminum. Mm -hmm. Pretty much a nerd cabinet. Mm -hmm. 